How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with a another video for you guys. We'll be playing some more Gears of War 5, so really excited to continue this. And here we are. Um, we took down the turrets, and now the moment of truth where we finally get some answers as to what the heck is going on with Kate. Though, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think we can kind of have the gist of what's going on or get the gist upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day a uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think sure <laughs> is required for entry. Proper identification. Okay. Hey, you can give it a shot. Oh, God. Welcome home. Welcome home? If you would, follow me. Care to explain that welcome home? Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah. I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. This way, please. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother. Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Okay, let's go over here. Ooh, found another component. Let's get back to that garbage can. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good like that. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. Oh shit. Niles, really looking forward to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. No, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, oh, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung. But it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh well, water under the bridge. Please, this way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. 
I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. Sucks for that person. Um, that's something I was gonna say, but I forgot. So yeah, I mean, it was obvious that this they way, they, com they created the uh, the locust. Again, that was set up in like an earlier episode or earlier this game. This next area is quite fascinating. The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. I was going to say, those look like wretches. There's a sire. Ah, you may find this especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different. Highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here. I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. Or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Yep. Your mother was born Called it. here and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Oh, shit. Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Hey, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. 
I can't. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. I really but hate tell this me guy. something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me, my grandfather, who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. Okay, so I take it. Yeah, I can't even get through there. Okay, where's this other generator?
so where exactly is the generator? That's my question. I wonder if I would be able to... There we go. Ah, he's done it. Your little friend is quite handy. Hey, watch the garbage can. Jack's book. Well, you do make a lovely couple. Would you please follow me? Almost there now. I'm curious. How does it feel to have your life's work turn on you? I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. This way, please. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. Okay. <laughs> I will make this as painless as possible. Yeah, you better. Oh, 
this isn't good. She's alive. What? I mean, it wasn't really her, except, except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this can't be good. After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think you can hear us. I don't give a shit! Cryogenic lockdown commencing. Please exit the lab immediately. Shit! We gotta stop. Look for a way through. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that uh, is happening, and good lord. Oh, we're in some deep trouble. For now, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly really appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below, as well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rom Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.